hi guys welcome back again to my channel as you can see i'm back with my wig cap and we are ready to do another makeup look and as you saw from the beginning it's sort of like a pink eyeshadow makeup look using the i heart revolution makeup palette because i got it recently and i'm so excited to use those colors so as usual we always start off with our eyebrows make sure you've brushed them well and then after brushing them well i normally go in with a pencil and I just like fill in the missing gaps, the outline, making everything look decent and neat. And I'm just using a dark brown pencil to do this. Uh, this is just a normal pencil. And at the ends, I'm just kind of using a black pencil, just at the ends only. Then I'm going back in again with the brush, the, the spoolie basically, and just trying to brush in the pencil plus the hairs. And then after that, I'm going in with my trusted um what is it called mascara eyebrow mascara not just the normal mascara but an eyebrow mascara and this is from the brand pastel and it's in the color dark brown next you definitely have to con uh, apply concealer all around the eyebrows and the purpose of applying this concealer is to define the eyebrows and i'm using the um la girl pro conceal concealer in the shade fawn so which is a few shades lighter than my skin tone so that my eyebrows can be more visible you know the contrast between the the concealer and the eyebrows makes them more visible and definitely we have to clean that up and i'm just using like an angled brush to do the cleaning so i'm just like brushing it all out so that it can be nice and flawless now we have our finished eyebrows not perfect but okay and then uh, next we're just going in with a maybelline fit me concealer in the shade um, caramel and i'm just patting it into my eyelids so that it may act as an eyeshadow primer now the purpose of an eyeshadow primer is primarily like to make the surface even give it an even skin tone you know our eyes have a lot of discoloration and also to make the eyeshadow stick on for longer and now it's time for the eyeshadow and i'm just using as i said the eye heart revolution Turkish delight palette and I'm just currently using the shade Pomegranate, which is a dark pink, pinkish, purplish shade, um, like a fuchsia-like. Uh, so basically, that's the one I'm using to apply in the outer corners of my eyes. I'm using a very wrong brush, but I am applying it in the outer corners of my eyes and just up to nearly the center of my eye. Then I'm going in with the shade Rose, which is slightly lighter than Pomegranate. Now, Pomegranate was sort of like a shimmery shade, uh, but Rose is like a completely matte shade. Roses, it's actually Roses, not Rose. And I'm just applying it like in the center and kind of blending it with the Pomegranate shade. And finally but not completely finally i'm going in with the shade candy which is also a matte light pink shade it's very very light very pastel pink actually it's like a pastel pink um yeah so candy is what i'm applying in the inner corner of my eye yeah and i'm making sure that i'm blending it properly with the rose so that it just creates an ombre effect on the eyes so make sure that everything is nicely and thoroughly blended when it comes to makeup more blending is always better like you'll never go wrong with blending whether it's more or more or more or more you, it's always you're always on the right track when you're blending something so blend 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 so after all that blending and adding i'm just going in with another shade of eyeshadow from the same same palette and this is actually glitters and it is in the shade delight which is just like the same color as pomegranate it's like pinkish purplish and i've just applied it strictly on the center of my eyes and then as usual we are going in with uh with eyeliner and i'm just using the maybelline colossal kajal algren oil in extra black and i'm just applying it on the lower and upper eyelids i've also managed to put in some eyelashes as you can see quite a bit crooked but i managed now i'm going to go in with my eye my primer sorry not my eyeshadow primer but my face primer and for the face i'm actually using the maybelline the maybelline fit me mattifying Pro primer <laughs> matte and poreless and i'm just applying it all over my face actually concentrating on my t-zone 
and then i'm just going in with blush and in this case this is the crayola lips and cheek color in the shade very cherry which is like a really dark shade and then i'm also going to apply mango tango in between the very cherry just to create like a highlight effect because mango tango has some highlights in it yeah so i'm just going to like create a highlight effect together with a blush I'm just taking a flat brush basically and blending it all out nicely. Make sure you pat, don't drag the brush because if you drag the brush, you're going to get streaks or lines in it. So just pat in that um, entire brush. So I, I'm going to go back to the eyes and I'm just doing my mascara um, on my lower eyelid because I believe that you need like to balance out your eyes. And then after I did my mascara, which I was using by the the Maybelline, a Maybelline mascara, I'm just going to go in with my favorite, favorite foundation for this year. I think I'm going to use this foundation throughout, which is the Clinique um, Ever Better, even better foundation in the shade Spice, which is a cool to neutral toned um, foundation because I discovered that I actually have a cool tone. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to apply it all over my face except the areas where i applied the blush and then now i'm going to go in with a maybelline concealer and this is in the shade caramel so i've just applied the maybelline concealer in the areas that i want highlighted which is under my eyes next to my nose and on, on my upper lip my lower lip and on my forehead and then i'm just going to go in with the nyx contour stick and that's what i've applied on my nose on the bridge of my nose the highlight side that is and then now I'm just going to blend it in with a flat brush and make sure that you blend it thoroughly because as I said before, blending, when it comes to makeup, blend, blend away. And I'm just going in with the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder, which I'm just applying in the areas that I've just applied the concealer to set that concealer. So I'm applying it in those areas and letting it set as I do my lipstick. We're almost to the finish line guys once you see me doing my lipstick you know that we are almost on the finish line so basically i'm just going in with a black um, pencil and i'm just using it to line my lips so that i can create like sort of an ombre effect and i'm lining it all over the place with the black lipstick then i'm just going to go in with a brown pencil and that's just what i'm applying right now just inside the black pencil I've, I've applied a brown pencil a dark brown one and then i'm going to go in with a maybelline lip, lip which is the maybelline super stay matte ink in the shade amazonian now this shade is not completely flattering on dark skin if you do not blend it out that's why i decided to use the black just to blend it out a bit and i'm just using a, pen, a brush to blend it all out nicely like I said before, you can never go wrong with blend over blending when it comes to makeup. And then I'm using another Maybelline lipstick, which is, which is the Sensational Liquid Matte in Asbelly Nude. And I'm just applying it strictly at the center of my lips. So I'm sort of removing the excess powder that I applied under my eyes. But before I finish doing that, let's just do the, the nose contour. And I'm just using the Revolution Mega Bronzer in the shade Dark, which is number four. And I'm just going to use it to like contour my nose from the top all the way from my eyebrows up to the tip. And now we are back with removing the excess setting powder that had actually applied under my eyes, next to my nose, on my chin. Yeah, basically to set the concealer and that was the Sasha Buttercup. So I'm just removing it because it has done its job. It's already set the concealer. We don't need it anymore. Now we are going to do our final setting powder for the rest of the face, which I'm using the Black Opal powder. And it's the Soft Velvet Finishing Powder in the shade Medium. Now I'm just going to basically apply it all over my face, including on top of the blush just slightly so that at least they can get like an even finish. Yeah, so that the blush can just peek through. And that's what I'm doing with a brush, basically just applying it all over my face. <music> We 
we are back again with the bronzer and this time around i'm just going to apply it like on my on my forehead like on the ends english is not my first language it is really tough to describe that part of the forehead <laughs> next to my scalp yes just the way you're seeing me applying it basically next to my scalp uh kind of under my cheekbones and i'm just blending it all out nicely that's where i'm applying the bronzer then i'm going to go in with highlighter and i'm using a nyx highlighter for this and i'm just going to lightly apply it on my cheekbones where the light hits my cheekbones basically guys i honestly think that we are actually through i don't think there's anything possible that we could apply further on this face maybe some setting mist or something but I think we're good. I think we are good. So basically, I'm just blending it out that lipstick well because I didn't really like the finished product. And then we're done. We are done. As you can see, it kind of looks stunning. Kind of looks stunning. Yeah, one eyebrow might be wonky, but you'll forgive me for that. The rest of the face is flawless. <laughs>